Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about our new idea, proving termination by k induction. First, let me introduce the termination problem. It asks whether all execution traces of a program are finite. Here is an example program. The two basic paths in its control flow graph. The blue path is natural finite. But how to prove the red path is finite? We try to find the expression, for example, x. The value of the expression has a lower bound, and it decreases after each loop iteration. When finding such an expression, we can use proof by contradiction to prove that the trace is finite. Formally, the expression is called ranking function, or explicit ranking function. The lower bound is ensured by a support environment, and we can also formalize the decreasing condition and the loop encoding. As a result, we can use an SMT formula to represent the termination verification condition. The template-based synthesis approach can be used to get the termination argument. For example, using a Lilian template to instantiate the ranking function and the support environment. However, the explicit ranking function method may get in trouble in practice. For example, in this program, one branch decreases x while another increases x. It has the explicit ranking functions like the absolute value of x or the square of x, but it does not have a leading explicit ranking function. This will cause some difficult instances. So, we can use the implicit ranking function best method. It does not require an explicit ranking function expression. The implicit ranking function method as a counter variable i in the loop bounding first. Then it guesses the upper bound of loop iterations, and suppose i is greater than the bound initially. If we can find the environment to guarantee i is greater than zero during the loop iteration, the termination of the program is proved. We call this argument termination certificate, and the TC for short. We can find that this method heavily relies on the environment. So, we can use k-induction to enhance this approach. k-induction provides strong precondition and requires weaker support environment, which makes this approach more powerful. For example, the precondition of this loop implies the environment y less than or equals to zero, which is too weak to ensure the validity of the TC. But if we unroll the loop 110 in front of the loop, the precondition is strengthened. It implies the environment y is less than 0, which is strong enough to ensure the validity of the TC. On the other hand, for this program, a very strong environment is required to ensure the validity of the TC. It is hard to be synthesized. But if we unroll the loop 110, in the loop body, a weaker environment is required. Moreover, if we unroll the loop three times, a significant weaker environment can be used. As we can see, once k induction is integrated, the termination argument can be synthesized more efficiently and effectively. We present the k inductive termination certificate formally. The best case unrolls the loop k minus 1 times following the precondition. The step case unrolls the loop k times in the loop body. The standard approach can be viewed as a special case of our k inductive termination certificate. Our approach is sound and relatively complete. That means it is more powerful than the standard approach. The algorithm of our approach is natural. Giving an input program, we first perform a program transform to unroll the loop k times. Next, we can use the template-based method to instantiate the k-inductive TC, and then try to synthesize a k-inductive environment by SMT solving. If the synthesis succeeds, the termination of the input program is proved. Otherwise, we increase k and repeat these steps until the time limit reached. We implement a prototype of our k-inductive approach based on the two frequent terms. It is an efficient termination proving tool, which outperforms other tools like Automate Optimizer and HipTunT+. We choose frequent terms as the baseline 
It uses 600 seconds to synthesize standard CC. R2 or CAN terms uses 16 seconds to synthesize 1TC and uses 118 seconds to synthesize K-inductive TC, with K being 2, 3, or 4. The total time is also 600 seconds. As we can see, R2 performs better than frequent terms. It can solve more benchmarks and is 42% faster than frequent terms. In another experiment, we used our tool to synthesize just one K inductive TC with the best K value. The K inductive TC with the best K value costs the least time to prove in termination. In this ideal situation, our tool is much faster than the baseline. Finally, let me summarize our work. We propose a K-induction-based approach to proving termination. We show the effectiveness and the efficiency of the new approach. We also prove the soundness and the relative completeness of the new approach. We implement a prototype of our new approach and conduct experiments to evaluate it. The experimental results show the promising efficiency and the effectiveness of our approach. That's all. Thanks.